Why does your hand sanitizer only say 70%? Is that a weak hand sanitizer because it's not 90 or 100% alcohol? No, there's science behind it. Let's find out. Hello, my name is Jonathan Allers with Destructive Creativity. I am feeling a little bit under the weather and I have for about the last week. So I've been doing my part of not spreading my germs and sicknesses around and I thought this would be an excellent opportunity to explore the science behind hand sanitizers. Now, do you have hand sanitizer in your home? You probably do. Because in this day and age, it's quite common to have hand sanitizer and it's good to use it. But if you look at the ingredients, you'll probably notice that it contains 70% alcohol, either ethyl alcohol or isopropyl alcohol. What does that number mean? If it's only like 60% or 70% alcohol, does that mean we could make a super hand sanitizer by upping the alcohol content to 90 or 100% alcohol? No, there is a reason why the alcohol content is always between 60 and 90%. And go check it out now. I bet that's what your hand sanitizer is. Before we get too far into the science behind why it's 70% alcohol in your hand sanitizer, let's go into why hand sanitizer works. Now, washing your hands is always, always better than using hand sanitizer because hand sanitizer is not always effective and it's not always the best way to get rid of germs and bacteria. And depending on the type of hand sanitizer you have, sometimes it's completely ineffective. Let's focus in on alcohol-based hand sanitizers. Now, alcohol is not a specific thing. It's a spectrum. So there's ethyl alcohol, there's isopropyl alcohol, there's lots of different types of alcohol that is used. So how does alcohol kill germs and bacteria? Well, the alcohol that is used in your hand sanitizers are known as amphiphile chemical compounds. The cool thing about these is they bond seamlessly with the bacteria and break down the plasma membrane around it and just destroy it. Now how that works is a little bit complicated, but if it's best to think about bacteria like a tough bubble that's filled with squishy bits held together by plasma. And the alcohol manages to puncture holes inside that outer plasma barrier and without the protection of the outer barrier the bacteria just dies. That's how alcohol works with hand sanitizer. But not all alcohols are created equal. So let's take a look at a 70% hand sanitizer solution. The 70% marker means that it's 70% alcohol, either ethyl alcohol or isopropyl alcohol, and water, purified water. Now, the ratio of alcohol by volume to distilled water is very important. You see, alcohol evaporates really, really quickly. So if you had 99% alcohol, it would be gone so fast, the alcohol doesn't have the opportunity to bond to the bacteria and puncture that plasma barrier. So 70% seems to be the ideal ratio in hand sanitizer because it allows it to stay in contact with the bacteria long enough to puncture it and destroy the protection so that that bacteria dies without it evaporating instantly. Now, if it's too low, like say 50% alcohol, then it actually isn't strong enough to destroy the bacteria. Or if it does, it would need to remain in contact with that bacteria for like five minutes and who wants to sit there with your hands submerged in alcohol for five minutes it's not very good that also brings up the fact that drinking alcohol does not kill germs so if it's lower than 60 percent as a bare minimum it doesn't do a thing to break down the barrier on the bacteria so unless you want to drink straight 70 percent vodka in large quantities it's not going to do anything and even if you did do that it might, might destroy a few of the bacteria inside of your mouth, but it won't do anything anywhere else in your body. Your <laughs> blood alcohol level would have to be like 70%. So I do not recommend drinking alcohol to try and get better from a sickness. This is going to be a shorter episode because I am feeling kind of sick, so I'm going to just call it right there. So let me know in the comments below what percentage of alcohol content your hand sanitizer is. See you next time. I'm Jonathan Allers. Bye!